Welcome to the channel, I'm Jay Malone. I recently had a phone conversation with my contact at the FAA. We talked about three specific topics, but today I'm just gonna cover one of those. The other two will be for a later video. But today I'm gonna to talk about the FAA rules concerning drone use on a farm. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy photography, drones, technology, and other related things, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it. That way you won't miss anything. I live in a very rural community where there is lots of farming going on and there's people buying drones to use on their farms. And of course there's debate on what is considered commercial use and what is considered just hobby use for a farm. So let me tell you what the FAA told me about using these on your farm. We'll try to make this quick and simple because it's 90 degrees outside and with the humidity here in Arkansas, it's about like 95 to 100 degrees. Let's say I was a farmer here at this farm and I decided that I would take my drone up uh, to survey my field and check it out, see how it looked, um, see how the water was flowing in the field, see if the irrigation was working properly. Um, I could take my drone up, I could fly it around, I could just take a look at it and if if I just wanted to look at my farm, that's just kind of considered hobby use and just use for yourself. But let's say I get the drone up in the air and while I'm looking at the field, all of a sudden I see that the irrigation is not working properly. And I see that I need to make some changes in my field. If I make those changes based upon my drone use, then my drone use becomes commercial use. The FAA considers that commercial work when your drone flight leads to it furthering your farm or furthering your business, that becomes a commercial flight. And if you use your drone in a commercial use at all, then you're required to have your remote pilot certificate or the part 107 license as some people call it. So that's how the FAA looks at drone use for your farm. And remember, if you wanna hear the other two topics that I recently had this phone conversation about, then make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss those. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a question for the FAA that you would like for me to ask the next time I have a phone conversation with them. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.